All right. So I'm going to I'm going to compose as much as I can of your um, command that you guys will run. But I I do. Like I said, I want people to understand what what this command does. So it starts with R node run like always. And then dash dash bootstrap. I'm just going to paste in here my own R node address. So like I said, I was sort of the lead node here. And so you're all going to bootstrap from uh, from my node. So I pasted that in there. Deploy timestamp, you know, I, I'll paste it in here uh, for you guys as a convenience, but as a Genesis validator, part of your job is making sure that this is indeed the timestamp we all agreed on, and I'm not trying to like pull a fast one on you or anything like that. And then same thing with the required SIGs. I'm going to type three in there just to help minimize mistakes, but it's your job to make sure that three is what we all agreed on. Um, and then the rest of this, you guys have to do on your own, so I'm just going to send that. All right, so everybody who's trying to be a Genesis validator can run this command. You can, you'll have to fill in uh, your path to your bonds file, path to your wallets file, um, and your private key. And uh, the private key is the contents of that SK file, not the name. Ah, so as as expected, we got a lot more people at the, uh, well, the 7 a.m. Pacific time. So if you guys are just joining in, feel free to just let this like wash over you as the experience we're having. And we're going to restart really soon so that we can do a, a bigger one where everyone participates. Right now, we've got uh, okay. five of us trying to launch a Genesis ceremony. And it okay. looks like, okay, I've got two peers. I received an approval from 83F5. That's drawer, right? Yep. And I received approval from 21E0. Who's that? That's me. Okay, cool. So that's two of our three SIGs. If we get Ned or Paolo, then... Okay. So I got everything ready, and I'm pasting in the, uh, the run command. So... Oh, I, I usually do this in Notepad++ first. Oh, so here I got received block, block approval from untrusted validator. That means someone else joined here who's not in the Genesis bonds file and signed so, it. So that doesn't count as one of our three signatures. Who, who tried to connect? Uh, I mean, so I only know how to, to... Oh, I don't even know if it's telling me, actually. No, I'm just wondering if anyone else tried to, just tried oh, to connect. Oh, you're just asking humans to claim yeah. that. Yeah, gotcha. It didn't add up Paolo, I'm assuming, right? Or maybe someone else. Well, it's it's uh, either Ned or Paolo if they made some kind of mistake, but... No, no, may, maybe I someone else. In the, yeah, right, right. Yeah, exactly. Someone who showed up after we started. Yeah. Okay, I'm still forming this command. But, yeah, that's cool. No problem. So I have I have three peers right now. I'm continuing to get approvals from from Drawer and Phil. And oh, here's a new one. Who's uh who's public key seven two four? That's me, Paolo. Okay, cool. So we have our minimum three sigs, and we'll just okay. The uh, so the uh, private key is from inside the SK file, right? Yeah, exactly. The private key is the contents, and the public key is the, gotcha. is the name. Uh, okay, so two, two more seconds. And, uh, and then again, so, you know, there was some confusion about the time today, so I'm going to keep going straight through for another hour. So if you're just joining us or just joined us recently, don't worry, we're going to do this again, and you can participate. And uh, you're even welcome to participate right now. So... Today's session is a little bit of a um, different thing than what we normally do. The, the point is I want to help everybody understand what a Genesis ceremony is and, and how it works. So even as you're watching this one, if you're not participating, feel free to come off a of mute and ask any questions you have. We're all going to learn from each other. And I, I learned plenty from, from Drawer and David at the beginning, even today's session. So we're all learning together.
Do you see me connecting? Let's see. I have eight peers now. I'm getting approvals from 83F21E872. 2, so I don't think that's you yet, Ned, but okay, there's a new peer. And received block approval from 368. Is that you, Ned? Uh, okay, how do I figure that out again? Your public key maybe <laughs> actually begins with 3682. Yeah, actually, I think it does. Okay, good. Uh, so I, we've I, got I, block approvals from everyone. And so we're, we're now waiting around to see if we get any more of them. And we're going to continue to wait around for a total of nine minutes because when I first ran this command, I set the duration of the ceremony to nine minutes. So I just wonder like, if um, others getting peers as well, or are we all waiting for the nine minutes to get the peers? Oh yeah, has any is anyone who was not a uh, part of the Genesis ceremony connected and have peers? Kyle, Jeremy, I, I can see they have like eleven peers. Who are they? Yeah, I I have a bunch also. I have uh, like I maybe have... running nodes from the previous session that are still up or something like that. Hmm. Yeah, possible. So what's interesting? I still have only one peer. Yeah, me too. Oh, so, that's, that is interesting. So maybe since we're during one, the ceremony, we're not gossiping about peers yet. So I have all the peers because I'm the lead node, but you guys don't. So yeah, that's what I was thinking. So how many does Paolo have? I have 11. <laughs> oh, but you think it's maybe from the previous session? Well, I don't know. I removed, I removed the data folder. Yeah, so that's that. interesting. I so think if you... Stuff. If you try to connect like before in any uh, R node testing, if there's peers online, you'll automatically no. But you deleted it. Deleted the folder. So yeah, yeah I did. I, did. Yeah. I had that issue where I deleted everything, but yeah, I was still able to connect to some peers, which is why yeah, that, that does happen. Yeah. But I'm curious why like drawer only has one. Hmm. Yeah, that's more interesting indeed. Yeah. Did you did you spin up a new instance of whatsoever a new IP address? Yeah. Yeah, if oh, that's, so that's, the that's case, probably then why. no one knows your IP address and then no one tries right. to. No, so I just wanted to know if during the gossip, uh, uh, there's no gossip during the initial. Right. Sorry. So it seems like there's not, Drawer, because otherwise I would have told, I would have gossiped some of my 11 peers over to you. Yeah, that's cool. And like the reason Paolo has peers is what Jeremy was saying. Like, uh, Paolo, is it correct? Other people has yeah, I, I'm using the same IP, but I didn't. Right. Okay, I see. Yeah. Makes yeah. Sense. Other okay. people know you. Okay, we've got about one minute left in this ceremony because uh, my timestamp way up here at the start was like right at, uh, well, let's see. I guess it was 10.01, and so now my timestamp is 10.09, so. Josh, are you 7B4D? Uh, good question. If that's what it says I'm connected to. I am, oh, you're talking about my R node address? Yes. Yes. Seven Bravo four Delta. That is me. Correct. All right. Thank you. Yep. So what we're expecting is that nine minutes after this thing starts, since we got enough um, signatures, it should say something like making transition to approved block state, and then we'll have a regular old uh, running network. Does anybody want to get some code ready to deploy just so we can make sure it propagates around? Sure, let me do that. I mean, I've got the two standard <laughs> contracts that are. Like, yeah, good. Yeah, let's let's do it, and pretty pretty soon we should be able to give that a try. So for anyone who's who's joining but not participating yet, um, if you want to participate in the next one, a good way to prepare is to make sure you have the right version of R node. It's it's linked from Kelly's um, worksheet. It's uh, in fact it's also in the in the chat. Ned had dropped the link recently. Um, and then the other way to start preparing is to generate a public private key pair. And so um, one command to do that is right here that I posted at night. Well, for me, it says 946 for you to be something 46 a.m. And uh, 
if, if you're not comfortable doing that or don't want to dive in that deeply, you can also just grab one off the spreadsheet that we've always used, as long as you have a, a key pair available somehow. And hi, Josh, uh, Tomislav here. Hey, so, Tomislav, uh, welcome. Uh, you're saying that uh, you're using Bones file uh, that uh, we were using on, on the, uh, when launching testnet or... Yeah, so, so uh, or no, no, I'm not doing that. So the, the point of the exercise today is that with, with node testing so far, there's always just been a supplied bonds file. Someone always just said, use this bonds file. And that kind of hid the idea of what a Genesis ceremony really is. And so today we're going through it the manual way. And what that means is we're all as, as humans, not as you know running our nodes or anything, going to come to an agreement about who the Genesis validators are, what their public keys are, and we're going to create our own bonds file from scratch. So this is the one that we did that includes me and Drawer and Phil and Ned and Paolo. And uh, when we do this again in a few minutes, we're going to do the same thing and we'll have a bigger bonds file of just the people who are here that want to participate. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So I will, I will uh, report to you my, my public uh, key. Yeah, bingo. That sounds great. Oh, okay, okay. And uh, what is the version of Docker you're using? Um, in, it's in Kelly's article, uh, we are using this one, Docker pull, okay. Arnode, release Arnode v0.7. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Okay. So I want to call so everyone. Can, can, can I ask a question on the bonds? Also in real life, if somebody after the Genesis ceremony decides to join, mm -hmm. uh, there are rolling commands to actually add a new validator to the bonds file and the wallets file? That's, so that's, that's basically right, Ned. It, it won't be added to the bonds file necessarily because it all just is managed on chain, but, but you're right. It adds them to the you know, list of everyone who is bonded. And um, that's what we've done the last few weeks in node testing when we prepare those like forwarder and, and whatever um, things by bonding through the faucet. Okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. okay, so I want to I want to talk about this message that's on my screen right now. Making a transition to approved block received handler state. That means the ceremony was successful. We now have a working uh, R node network, and the Genesis validators who participated are are all validating. So if anybody wants, so drawer, you should be getting more peers now, hopefully. Um, and anyone who wants to can deploy code, and it should go around the network. So if anyone has I, some, I, I still have only one peers. So. Oh, you do. Okay, that's interesting. And I'm yeah. stuck, I'm stuck at that at that making transition. Yeah, you're you're not stuck. Just nothing's happened since then. Hopefully, now oh. you'll get this code. <laughs> of course, as soon as I said that, here it goes. Yeah, yeah so it I, looks I, like I, someone played high card, right? Who was that? Yeah, that was me. I started my deploy script. <laughs> nice. Oh, so we're gonna see a bunch of high cards come through here, right? Uh huh. Nice. Thanks, Bill. Drew, did you see the, the high card stuff come through? Yeah, I'm getting it. So that's cool. Are you getting more peers now? Uh, let me check. I'm on block two, block three. Yay. All right. So, or ID or change of peers. So I still have one peer, so I'm getting everything from you, I guess. Okay. So out of curiosity, while we're doing this, I wonder, can I technically try to bond to like Phil? <clears throat> Yeah, you should be able to do that. All right, let me see if I can try that right now real quick. Okay, so just to set everybody's expectations, I, I do want to do this one more time with enough time for everyone to participate. So let's we'll let this run for about three minutes, and then when my clock says 1017, we'll, uh, we'll burn this one down, and we'll start up again fresh so that everybody can participate. Um, so in the, in the meantime, Anyone who wants to participate in the next one but hasn't yet, I'd be happy to answer your questions about how to generate a key pair or how to get the right version of Node or any other questions you, you might have. So uh, Glenn or Rita or Vishwak or anybody else, if you'd like to ask any questions, feel free. And, uh, Good, Jeremy, if you want to keep us posted, too, on how your bonding's going, that would be fine. Oh, I see some proof code coming through here. That must be Paolo. Yeah. <laughs> sorry, that was me. <laughs> no, no, sorry, that's great. I'm happy to see it. No, I mean, sorry that I didn't tell you. But you oh, were gotcha, talking. gotcha. <laughs> yeah, cool. But this is interesting. I mean, next week, maybe 
we could actually ask like the day before for people to uh, give their keys so we can prepare those bonds and have the um, genesis ceremony in the beginning and then having people bonding after that the one that comes later i mean yeah, it's, a possibility. I think it's important for people to understand the genesis ceremony so that we can do it in a secure way when when mainnet comes live i i think the only reason they haven't done that is because they really wanted to test the bonding feature so they wanted us all to be bonding afterwards but yeah i, I agree with you that would be good Maybe this generating key thing should be easier, like not running a node, but just a common like generate key. That's what Drawer said too. I totally agree with that. So luckily two of our project managers are here now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, can, you can you put in the chat or Discord a deploy command? A deploy command? Yeah, to deploy a contract. Yeah, sure, sure. So uh, it's a quick aside first. If you're ever not sure, you can always uh, rnode deploy dash dash help. Right. Um, oh, there we go. And it'll tell you what all you need. So you need like from some address, a nonce, all this stuff. Oh, so okay. So that, that hasn't changed since the last. Okay, so I probably have that actually. Thank you. I'm, yeah, no problem. I'm going to put it in here anyway, but. Uh, yeah, it's just a teaching how to fish thing. <laughs> I, I was never a good fisherman. <laughs> oh, and the IP address has to change too, because I was we've been using Kelly's, right? Well, you're you're a validator, uh, Ned, because you were in the ceremony, so you can just use your own. You don't have to use someone's IP address. Oh, okay, right, 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 right. Yeah. So the the idea there is. In order to deploy anything, you have to be a validator. And in the past, none of us have been validators at Genesis because they wanted us to be bonding afterwards. But now, Ned, you are, so you can handle that. Gotcha. Um, I would argue even that at some point there should be the feature to to gossip the deploys in the network, such as that you don't need to deploy against the validator node. Yeah, I agree, Phil. I don't know why they don't do that. Okay, so I promised I was going to burn this one down at 1017. So so sorry, everybody, if you're in the middle of anything, but I, I do want to make sure everybody gets to participate. So I am going to control C that. And I'm going to remove my R node directory. So if, if you were in that last one, go ahead and shut your node down um, and clear out your R node directory unless you have stuff you, in there you need to keep, like your key pair, for example. And then uh, just to make the Discord log clear, starting over with a new uh, Genesis block. And then I'll uh, make it nice and visible. All right, so after these little fire emojis, that's where we're, we're starting this one now. So. Oh, yay, Glenn is already on it. So what we need to do is share all of our keys. Glenn has shared his right here. You can just do this exact same thing that Glenn's done. Um, and yep, so there's uh, there's Tomislav's public key. Does anyone uh, want to generate a public key and isn't sure how? Sorry, so we're not using, we can't use the ones we just used? You want new ones? Oh, you, no, you totally can. Yeah, you totally okay. can. Thank you. Okay. All right, so I'm going to get Glenn's in here. And um, just to make all, everybody feel welcome, I'm going to give the newcomers higher higher weights. So Glenn, you can have a weight of 15. That means uh, this is your, your Casper weight. So you you get 15 votes in Casper. I only have four. Awesome. Josh, I can still use the keys from the uh, Google uh, Docs file, right? Yeah, totally. If, yeah, if you either don't have time or energy to generate one, you can just grab one out of there. That's totally fine. All right, cool. So here's Jeremy's key. And so this is this is the part that we've never really seen before. If, if anyone who was at Archon 3 did this by submitting their public key to that Google form that Kelly sent around. But like the last couple of weeks in node testing, they've just come and said, 
there's already a bonds file. There's already a network that consists just of PyreFX nodes. And then we all bonded later, but this is, this is what happened behind the curtain. All the public keys got accumulated and, uh, and they ran this same kind of ceremony. Josh, you wish we were here again. So I want to generate my own public private key. So where, how do I do that again? Oh yeah, great. So, so I'll, I'll actually show how to do one of those right now. Let me make this a little bit bigger. So you, it, it kind of sucks right now. The user experience isn't, isn't great, but um, it, it's, it's good enough. So we're going to do our node run standalone. And then uh, in order to generate, if, if you just do this, you're going to get five key pairs, which is fine. You could just choose one. But if you want to make it a little less confusing and not worry about accidentally switching or something, then you can do num validators one. Okay. And so the, the part that stinks about it is that it, you know, like spins up a whole node and does all this networking stuff and like takes some time, but it's, it's not that bad. So, okay. It says created this validator. So, so that's it. That's all we needed that node for. And now it's safe to just kill that node. Okay. And then the, the place you find the file is in your R node folder. Mm -hmm. So what else do I have in there? I have this folder called Genesis and inside of there, there's this file, some long number dot SK. Okay. So the long number, the file name, that's your public key. So that's what you can copy and give to us. And then oh. the contents, what's inside of this thing, that's your private key. So you can keep that private and not tell anybody. Got it. All right. Just a moment. I'm doing that. Phil, are you, uh, you want to switch to this public key or you want to use both of them? Oh, it's the same. Oh, it's the same one. Okay, cool. Oh yeah, I see it in there. Uh, do you need mine again? It's going to be the same. No, nope, I've got yours in here. Yep. Okay, cool. That would be interesting also in the bonds file if there's two times the same address. Yeah, I agree. I, <laughs> it's funny because last time I promised we would do we would start messing with it on the next round, but now I also want this one to be successful. So those are really good edge cases to explore too. We definitely don't want bugs like that in the software. I mean, currently you have the same address twice in there. Oh, I do? Oh, you're right. How did that happen? <laughs> did I miss? I, that's Jeremy's address that I have twice. Did I get Tomislav's 8D07? Ah, that's the problem. Tomislav, I almost cheated you. There we go. All right, so I know Vishwak is working on getting a key for us. Is anyone else still hoping to generate a key? Um. How's it going over there, Vishwak? Uh, just a moment, Jashi. Yeah, later. Cool. Yeah, cool, cool. Take your time. Um, so the so the information we all need to agree on, I don't remember if I've said this recently, but we, we need to agree on what's going to be in the Genesis block. And there's four pieces of information. So that's the, the bonds file. That tells us who's the validators and what are their weights. There's the wallets file. That tells us who all has tokens and how many tokens do they have. So like how many rev do people have? When we launch mainnet for real, this is going to be the copied over rock balances from Ethereum. We need to agree on the number of signatures that we should get. So uh, we, we had three last time and now we've added Tomislav and Vishwak and uh, Glenn and Jeremy. So, so sometimes network problems lead to, to issues. So I think maybe we'll just leave this at six in case anybody doesn't sign successfully. And then a timestamp and the timestamp is just what time it is right now. And so I was, I was showing earlier, um, we can just use the date command and it's just counting up seconds. And so I guess I'll just suggest we use this timestamp. And Joshua, do you know what is the meaning of timestamp? Is this just a unique number to... I, I believe it's like the number of seconds since the Unix epoch started in 1970, but I don't really know that for sure. Yeah, that's true. Nice. Okay, cool. But uh, th this is the time that uh, 
uh, is uh, uh, counting for duration? I believe it's a seed for the random number generator for the for the hashing algorithms. Oh. Right. I think that's how it's used. I think Joshi, uh, that's I, what you. I don't know that to be true, but it it might be. Or the yeah, hashing. Not, you know, there's not, no randomness in hashing, right? I'm sorry, not hashing. Not ha I'm sorry. The, the random number generators. Well, well, not not only that. That might be the case, but also that they recently put a lot of synchrony syn 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 Jesus, the word in English. And they put them in some assumptions regarding um, uh, what kind of blocks are allowed um, to to publish or uh, to 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 propose. And actually, the timestamp of the block has to be greater than its parent, as well as it is not allowed to to propose blocks or other clients don't validate blocks that. The timestamp time stamp is uh, five seconds or more in the future. So, there's, five seconds? Yeah. So we have to get a block every five seconds. No, no. What I what I what I mean is that you aren't allowed, or you are allowed, but other validators won't process your blocks if you're timestamp of the block is too far in, in the future. Gotcha. Gotcha. All right, cool. So we got Vishwak's key. So here's our official bonds file. We've got uh, me, I think drawer is in here. I don't remember who's all these are, but everyone who sent me a key, they're in here. And Vishwak, you're, you're, the, you're the heaviest validator here. You get way to 20. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. I'm a measly little four. The wallets file, I didn't bother to add everyone in here because we don't really have much use for tokens right now, but um, but here it is. So I'm going to send you guys all of this information. Required signatures, we agreed on six, and here's the timestamp that we can all agree on. All right. Yeah, make, sure, make sure everybody updates that required sig in their friend command. Right, right. So this this info that I dropped into Discord, it's the only message that looks like this after the, you know, the fire emoji that meant we were starting over. This is basically the contents of the Genesis block. And so we just as humans on Zoom who to some extent trust each other have agreed on this information. And now that we have that, we can start a network where we never have to trust anyone again. So um, I'm going to run my sort of coordinating command and then I'll, I'll help everybody come up with with their command too. I guess I need to um, clear out my directory here. Okay. So there we go. Just to be clear, the Genesis validators do need the same bonds file. Is that right? That's yeah, that's correct because the, the bonds file represents everyone who is a validator. And if you can't agree on who's the validators, then you, you can't play Casper. Okay. All right. So, so notice what I'm doing here is I'm just taking this information we agreed on and putting it into my command. So like the timestamp required SIG of six. Um, the, the, the bonds and wallets are in files, so that stuff's all good. And then I'll just say, well, nine minutes worked well. So I'll say, well, let this ceremony run for nine minutes. And interval 15 seconds means every 15 seconds, I'm going to send out what I think is the Genesis block to everyone who's connected to me. All right, so I'm going to run that. And then everybody else has a command um, that looks like this. Well, Joshi, yeah. um, the vaults file just contains seven or eight addresses, but the bonds file a lot more. So there will be some validators that don't have any kind of... Uh, Rock refs on on the network. So yeah, that's right. I didn't I didn't bother to put everyone's revs in here. Do we, I just don't know how to do the token transfers yet? So I thought maybe that would be okay. But yeah, you're right. Like the like Vishwak and I mean, whoever the just, last couple just of people. If were. someone wants to deploy a contract, uh, this validator might not be able to. Or I, I'm not. I'm what not sure. I don't think we're charge. I don't think we're actually charging rev to deploy yet. 
All right. Okay, then that's fine. Well, I guess we'll find out though. Yeah, that's yeah. It's, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's definitely by mainnet. Anyone who um, wasn't here with Tony. we might do right because I think when we we did the bonding, we could see that one uh, one was detected. Right. Well, let's see how it goes. Yeah, I think the we'll see how it goes. I think it's going to be okay. So, so what I'm editing right now is the the template for the command that you guys can can run. Um, but while I am going to put in as much info as I can to help prevent accidental mistakes, your job as validators is to not run this unless you really agree with it and and believe that it's the right thing. So. For example, I've pasted in a timestamp here, but you should double check to make sure it matches this timestamp that we agreed on. And same with the required SIGs and, and all of that stuff. Uh, because if it doesn't, that could be me trying to trick you to start a network the way I want instead of the way we all agreed. So the last thing we need is my, you're all gonna bootstrap from me since I'm sort of playing this coordinating role. So I'm gonna copy my R node address into there. So there we go. Everybody else who sent me a, a public key, here's the template for the command that you're going to want to run. You need to update your data directory or just delete that if you want to use the default one. You need to update this path to your wherever you saved bonds.txt and same for your wallets.txt. Uh, this Genesis validator is just a flag. It can stay just like it is. And then you need to put your private key in here. And the private key is the contents of the SK file. So you already gave me the name, that was your public key. And now you can put in the contents, that's your private key. Oh, hey, look, I've got two peers. Oh, we should run this now? Oh, yeah, you're ready to go, yep. Okay, sorry. So that's okay. Um, and we've got two block approvals from 21E and 8D0. I'm the second one. Yay, thank you, I'm Tom, for yeah. approving my block. <laughs> Uh, and when other validators are bonding uh, later, uh, is, is the bond file updated with the new public keys from, from new validators or? So the basically, yes. The, the only thing that's not quite right is that it's the bonds file itself at like bonds.txt is only useful for the Genesis ceremony. And after that, the bonds information is stored on chain. Mm, so yeah. that, that concept is exactly right. The, the set of bonded validators gets updated, but it just doesn't happen in that file. We don't care about that file after this ceremony. This is just, just the initial file for like a Exactly starter. right. Exactly yeah. right. Hey, I got an error error in parsing wallets file. Hmm. Okay. So in, that, invalid pre-wallet specification. So look at your wallets file and see if there's anything that doesn't look quite like this. Maybe you have some white space in there or a key that doesn't look right. Yeah. Or a space after a comma. And the format uh, of the wallets file uh, was changed, right? It's, it's not always the same. It, it wasn't always the same. So that's maybe i'm not really sure i think there was an extra carriage return line feed at the end okay. uh vishwak this means you already have a node running somewhere probably there's one running in the background are you using debian or ubuntu or something yeah i'm using ubuntu so to to kill that uh you can sudo system control stop our node okay let me try that. And the reason that happened, Vishwak, is um, when you install the Debian package, for whatever reason, it mm -hmm. spins up an R node when your system boots, which is kind of a pain, but it's just how it is. Oh, okay, got it. Yeah. 
Get the same error again, Joshi. You you ran this command and yeah. What happened when you ran this command? Uh, I got no output. No output. Nope. Mm. And drawer fill. Any ideas? Try to do um kill all Java. K I here. I'll type it in. Uh, what was the problem? The problem was the ports he was trying to bind were already in use, which for me usually means that I have a node running in the background. Yeah, you got to do that yeah, system, system cuddle. Or I think the kill all Java works the same. Okay, I would not tell people to do kill all Java because you don't know what's running on their system. So, um, yep. yeah, I could paste in the, uh, what I do. Yeah. So, I mean, it's okay for your system because you're probably running just that. But if you tell people to kill all Java, uh, I've seen system crashing because of that command. Um, Is it working to just say kill all Arnold? Uh, no. <laughs> I, I wish I, I could paste in what I do, and you could just take the first line. But I, I this is my doomsday, uh, a doomsday script. <laughs> <laughs> Can someone um, help me in terms of getting? Because right now I'm trying to get. I have another instance running right now because I'm curious to just test see if I can bond to like someone else after we do the genesis, or okay. send me the link to where I could generate the um, bonding files. Um, yeah, I bet if we just scroll up to last week's worksheet, Kelly will have it in there. Mm -hmm. Oh, I found it. Cool. We'll drop it in for all of us because I think that's you. And, and not just a link. Tell, give us a little context of what it is. Uh, okay. So it looks like right now I've got four validators sending me approvals. And we were hoping for six. So I'm still getting one peer, which is you. Really strange. Yeah, that is strange. Can you check that you have the correct version of our node? Say, I, I'm Can the 905, you, and it says I get the not adding. This is this is you, Glenn? Yeah. Could not receive response to heartbeat. Could not. Yeah, it sounds like, Glenn, it sounds like you and I are not becoming peers because we're not having this handshake work correctly. What version of our node are you running? Uh, the same one that we've, the one that was listed. Let me, let me check my networking. Maybe I... I don't have, uh, yeah, let me check my networking. Okay. That, the hash that we're using is uh, charlie3109. Okay. And the reason I'm still listening is we don't have six signatures yet? Yeah, we're, this is going to go for nine minutes. Even if we get the six signatures, it's still going to go for nine minutes in hopes that we'll get more than six. Gotcha. So Ned, are you uh, are you one of these four that I'm, or I guess it's only three now? Are you one of these three that's sending me approvals, eight D zero or two one E or eight three F? That's the wallet address, right? That's your public key. Yeah, I thought it was. Um, I thought zero, it was one, right. two. Well, I didn't hear you, Ned. I, I thought it was uh, three something. We'll do double check. It's the well. Yeah. I guess I can go back and double check. No, let me. Let me. Or yeah, we or we both can. Yeah, you're three six eight two. Yeah, so that's interesting. You don't have that yet. Yeah, yeah, right. What uh, what kind of log messages are you seeing, Ned? Oh, I'm I'm at I'm just stuck at listening for traffic. Oh, wait a minute. On E seven seven B. That's not you. 
Joshi, I also have only one peer. Ah, and okay. So are you using a new IP address that you've not used in the past, Tomislav? No, I'm using the same. Mm, oh, interesting. Interesting. This is interesting. So I'm boot sorry. I'm bootstrapping to you, Joshi, seven Bravo for Delta. Mm -hmm. But now I'm listening for traffic on uh every seven seven. Oh uh, boy, E77. So, yeah, yeah, that I mean that that makes sense. So bootstrapping to me, this is me, uh seven two six five. Is that what you said? Yes. No, so, no. Oh, did you change the bootstrap address? Every time the leader starts a new node, they get a new uh, new uh, R node address. Okay, sorry, I missed that. Okay. So that explains why you're not getting peers. But okay. um when you see listening for traffic, that's your own R node address, Ned, not the one you bootstrapped to. And uh, Joshua, why are generating always the new address? Uh, I mean, you can you can uh, leave the POM file and you will get the same address if you if you leave the, the certificate. Uh, these two files in, in R node uh, directory. Oh, what like files? I didn't go. Oh, the TLS files. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, that's good to know. Okay. See, I learned something today too. Oh, great. <laughs> but the reason I did it was because I just clobber my entire .r node directory. So I'm glad to learn that. I usually just delete uh, Casper in, in R space. So. Yeah, that seems like a probably a better idea. So it looks like we've got six approvals now. That's good. So for for you guys out there. You know, my message looks like this, received block approval, but what you'll, you'll see is either something like received expected candidate, which is good, or received unexpected candidate, which means we didn't agree on the Genesis block and it should give you details about exactly what was different. I, I received the uh, uh, expected candidate, but I still have only one peer. Okay. Hmm. That's what Dror is experiencing too. Might be, it might be the case that generating a new TLS key is uh, the reason why some are not connecting to peers and some are. Hmm. Oh, I'm just thinking, so earlier, um, not everyone was on the call yet. We, we tried one of these ceremonies and we set it to only last one minute and we intentionally did not get the required number of signatures just to see what would happen. And what happened was the ceremony just kept going and going. So what I'm wondering now is um, maybe the logic is that the ceremony goes until, uh, until either we've reached the um, end of the duration and gotten the right signatures yeah so like if it doesn't happen within the the nine minutes it keeps going until we get the the six signatures that's my new guess okay i i'm getting um peers now and uh it's be i had to set up inbound ports for my uh machine Okay, that's that's good, Glenn. Hopefully, you'll be our sixth and final signature. And I put that in there. I, I see my wallet now in there, Joshy. Three six eight two. On my log. Oh, this is you. Oh, received block approval from three six eight two. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And, and that was it. That's all we needed. Making transition to a, the approved state. So, congratulations, everybody. We got six signatures on this Genesis block. Um, and oh vishwat killing the java process worked okay good to know it's it is a little bit dangerous but if it's working for you that's that's wonderful yeah <laughs> <laughs> so now we have a we have a running network congratulations so we can play with it as much as you guys want we can deploy code and um yep looks like looks like phil started his high card script huh yeah. all right i want to get this Contract. Jeremy, you can you can do that bonding thing like you said if you want to try to bond after the network has started like we have in the past. Now's a good time to do that. Um, 
But also the, my, my goal for today was to make sure people or, or to help people understand how the ceremony works and why we do it. And so if anybody has questions about that bit, I'd be happy to talk through those too, at least as much as I can. Um, so I just did a deploy. Do I need to do a propose, a propose as well? Yeah, if you've deployed, that only goes to your node. It's just sitting there in a in a queue for now. So if you propose, then it should come around the network. Oh, wow. We got a bunch of output here. Anyone know what all this is about? Paolo, is that proof stuff? Uh, that's me. Oh, that's Glenn. Oh, cool. Oh, Glenn, is this um, labor theory of property, like our hour stuff? Uh, it's a, no, uh, it's a table. Okay, contract. okay, cool. So that's a test running. Awesome. Yeah, I mean, so everybody, this looks really great. Like we just bootstrapped a network all by ourselves without needing to rely on on anyone. I mean, I, I guess I played a sort of a central role, but you all agreed with the Genesis block that that I proposed, and that's why the network launched successfully. Hey, Joshi, can we see the original command that you uh, you ran to start the whole thing? Is that possible? I hope so. Let's see how far my scroll back goes. Oh, yeah. OK, so the addition is, uh, no, we all use validator private key. Um, Here, here's some things that are different. I used dash dash standalone. And you guys all used uh, dash dash bootstrap and then my address. And then the other things that are different are I just had to include these couple options at the end. Josh, a quick question. So why did you uh, start a standalone node? I start because at, what standalone means, there's a lot of confusion about that. A, a lot of people think standalone means your node is never going to talk to anyone else. And that's not true. Okay. What standalone actually means is that your node is not going to take the initiative of reaching out to anyone else. But if someone reaches out to you, even as a standalone node, you still become peers with them. And so that's what I did here. I started all by myself, not trying to make any peers, but waiting for you guys to contact me. Got it. All right. And then you told your node, hey, I'd like to start by contacting Joshi by doing dash dash bootstrap and then my address. All right. Got it. Makes sense. Cool. And so now that we... Now that we have a network running, if someone wants to get involved they, afterwards, they don't, they can bootstrap to me. That's perfectly fine. But they can also bootstrap to any of the other Genesis validators. So, Judge, that's what I'm doing. I'm about to bootstrap to you. Can you give me your IP address? Yeah. Um, well, maybe. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right here. Hey, Joshi? Yeah. So, I deployed a contract. Uh, okay. It's like a half of a rock, paper, scissor thing that we were cool. working on. And then I got success and then I proposed it. Okay. And I got a block. Okay. Uh, and I kind of saw that flash by in the node window, DA61B. Okay. That's uh, your block hash? For the proposed, right. I'm seeing if I have that block. Also, I don't know how much of that hash I need. Oh, wow, there it is. I do have that block. Cool. Do you see rps.rho in there? I don't know how. Well, the, the file name wouldn't show up, but the, the code itself would. Is there, uh, OK, there's probably words like rock in there, right? Uh, let me open it up. It's a. Uh, yeah, if you look for a quote, David quote dash star STD out. So just in case anyone's 
following along. What I'm doing here is I'm running the R node show block command on that block that Ned cares about. And instead of putting it on my screen where it's impossible to read, I'm saving it to a file. Right. And, and then I'll open it up in my editor so we can look at it a little nicer. Wait, do you oh. just close your, um, shut down your node? What's that? Do you just shut down your node? No, my node's still, still rocking. Huh. It's over here. So let's see here. Here it is. Looks like it's in there. This is probably your code, right, Ned? Yeah. Uh, rock match three. X, so X3. No, that's, not, that's not my code. I, I bet it is. X3, when, when you make names in your code, if you do like new RPS game or something, those get renamed to X0, X1, X2 when, when they go to the blockchain. The names that you've called them don't survive to get to the blockchain. Gotcha. If I have a hard coded name like uh, quote David quote, would that show up or does that get? Oh, it's, it's, if it's a public name like at quote David quote? It's uh, at quote RPS quote bang. Open yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you've used a public name, that should show up. So let's search for that. And I guess I'm going to close that. Hmm, that did not show up. It might be helpful if you just give us the code that you're deploying and then we could check out what's in there. It seems it seems unlikely that you deployed rock, paper, scissor code in this block and yet this is someone else's rock, paper, scissor code. Yeah. Yeah, actually, I saw bots, paper covers, players rock. So that's probably that. Cool. I know I, I need a, a better contract to deploy. I actually have another one. Oh, I have the bet number. Yeah, cool. Oh, yeah. Look, some, it looks like someone just gave us a little one that output sample one to the screen. Oh, that's me. That's me. Nice. Good. It's very simple contract. <laughs> That's the best way to start. Look, hey, a little bit off topic. Tomislav Isaac told me that you might lead our Casper discussion this week. Uh, yeah, yeah. Awesome. I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, me also. <laughs> if, uh, if anybody wants to learn more about how, how Casper works and some of the math behind it, we have a peer learning session on um, on Fridays at well, noon my time, noon Eastern time. I don't know what, I guess UTC, that would be five, 1700 UTC. And uh, information is always on the CBC Casper channel in Discord. And we are still on pretty on the beginning, right? <laughs> What's that? We are, we are on the beginning still. Yeah, yeah, we're, yeah, that's right. We're early on. We usually do a little bit of math and looking at the paper and then we do a little bit of actual game playing so this seems pretty responsive we've still got high cards coming through somewhat often looks like got blocks are being gossiped jeremy did you actually try to bond after genesis yeah i'm still working on hitting some errors over here on my side give me like okay. one more second yeah, that's cool, man. Take your time. Sorry, can I have a question? Uh, it's Adam. Yeah. Hi, Adam. So you were talking about uh, validators coming late and how would they join if they weren't listed in the uh, bomb stick file? Yeah, good question. So uh, Jeremy dropped this link in Discord right here. This is the... Okay. Uh, this is the community testing from last week, I think, right? 1030. Yeah, that's last week. Yeah, but I took out the Camilla ports that you saw Camilla. in there. Because I don't think that applies to this ceremony. Wait, you, you're saying you edited this file? No, I didn't edit it. But like that's when they remember when we were trying out the new Camilla ports, I believe. I took that out because 
I couldn't like get a connection to you. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Right. This, we don't need this yeah. time. And same with port. You're right. That did, we don't need either. So Adam, to answer your question, the, the process for bonding after Genesis is outlined here with a couple little, little changes. So basically you connect to the network and in that case, it'll just be like, um, our node run dash B is the same as dash dash bootstrap. And then the R node address of anyone who's in the network. So that could be mine that we've already posted or, you know, anyone else here could give you theirs. And then your private key. So a private key that you've generated any way you like. So that's the first step. Now you're connected to the network, but you're not yet a validator. Now this stuff all goes basically the same way. You have to generate these, these helper files, this will give you two dot row files and you deploy one and a block is proposed and you deploy the other and the block is proposed. And now you should be good to go. Now you're a bonded, bonded validator, even though you weren't in Genesis. That's good. Do you know, uh, this will always work, right? <laughs> well, uh, it's supposed to always work. I don't want to make promises. I, I, I mean, I mean, in this, in this <laughs> version, I mean, <laughs> There, there is no I don't, like, kind of restriction. I think there. I think we were hitting bugs with this last week, so I I don't know for sure if it'll work. I I hope that Jeremy gets to try it and we can see if it crashes. Yeah, right now my note is getting cut up. I'm on block four, so. Okay. Cool. Yeah. And, and do you know uh, when this can be done? With the, the, this bounding, uh, after I mean, this. Period. As soon as the ceremony ends, it can happen. Okay. So if I want to replicate this uh, on, on on my machine, I must first first uh, go to the whole ceremony and then after that i can bond other yeah, one that's, that's right that's right okay. okay thanks yep so i have uh, one more question <laughs> yeah yeah please so is it uh the case that well actually it is um that every propose generates a new block Right. That's exactly what propose means. Yeah. Propose forces the node. It says, Hey node, I'm ready to generate a block. So make one right now. Ah, so, so it's proposing the block, not the contract. Exactly. Exactly. Proposing a block. Excellent. Thanks. Yeah. Oh, I guess Adam, technically the, the one time when running propose will not create a new block is if there are no new deploys. So if you like, if you propose and then immediately propose again, it'll just come back and say like there, there were no new deploys to go in that block. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. All right. So we're almost to the top of the hour. Um, when we get there, I'm actually, I'm going to kill my node because it just is running on my laptop and I need those resources back. But the good news is, even though I was a central role in the Genesis ceremony, that ceremony is over. And so I'm no longer special. I'm just another node in the network. And so it, it will continue to run even after I bring my node down. And for me, I have only one peer. So, oh, then it will but matter I, for you. Uh, but I, I see the log, you know, I see the uh, block uh, proposing, but I'm not sure why I have only one peer. So, Is yeah. I, Drew, I think you had only one for a while, right? Is that still the case? Yep. I only have one also. Is it, is it only one really? also? I, I think it's you not telling us. Yeah, I think so as well. Right. If, if The only way for you guys to get more peers is to hear about them from me. So I don't know why I'm not gossiping the peers. Are you... Hmm. There's something in the run command? Uh, yeah, I wondered about that too. I, I don't know what it would be. I don't think I can get back that far at this point. Any kind of networking problems, IP tables or whatever? Yeah, the fact that it's happening to all of you guys makes me think it's on my end, right? Is there something specific I should run here, Phil? Not sure. I don't really know how to use I. Oh, well. <laughs> Yeah, we but need you definitely have inbound connection uh, allowed. So, hmm. yeah, it's it's funny too because it seems like we're like you guys are still seeing all these contracts go by, right? Yeah, yeah. So we're communicating in both directions correctly, 
but for some reason, peers aren't being gossiped. Hmm. I think that's the only real bug we've hit this session, right? So, so that, that that's might be the Cadamilia port. That uh, which ports do you have open? Oh, how do I know what my Cadamilia port is? Is that over here? Uh, well, the default should be maybe four or five. I don't remember. Uh, uh, this is the matrix says, port, but not. It uh, says four o four zero zero for yours. As well as that's the same as the protocol port. That might be the problem. Uh, where do you uh, where do you see that, Bill? Uh, in my uh, list of connected peers, there is the. Or I mean, might be the same as the bootstrapping address. Um, it says mm -hmm. discovery equal to four o four o o. So. Yeah, I also think that uh, this is the. Uh, no, that's 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 the port that you're listening to, right? I'm just not sure if there's another port in play for. Is this what you guys are talking about? Yeah. Well, yes, that's what we used to start. But in my case, for list of connected peers, it says discovery equal to, uh, and then the bootstrapping address. But instead of 40404, it says 40400. Oh, so okay, so maybe if you guys had listed dash dash Kademlia port, something else. No, I mean, I took your command. I think is I, I think that somehow sets the Kademlia port you're listening on to four o four o o, but you actually are listening on four o four o four. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Mm. That sounds that sounds like good hypotheses. It, it not a hundred percent clear in in my head, but I think this is a good thing for us to like report here in the in the Discord for for devs to to take a peek. I don't I don't even know who the right person is. Maybe Pavel. Yep. Hey Josh, I don't think I'd be able to connect because it keeps getting hosted up at random blocks. Like I would just host up at like block six for the longest time. Okay. Okay. But well, I do the experiment on myself like later on. See if I can. Okay, gang. It's uh, it's 11:04, so I think we should call it a day. Um, yeah, that was great. I got further today than ever. So, <laughs> yay! Wonderful. Thank you guys so much for coming to this session. I I know it was a little bit of a last-minute swap and everything, but um, it really means a lot to me that you studied with me 